Yeah, I was making a video about um, compact nuclear fusion device and petrol engine cars and hydrogen fuel cell cars and I missed out battery powered cars. And the thing that's frustrating with battery powered cars is the amount of time it takes to charge them. Now, I, I was got to add that in your house it may take 16 hours to charge your batteries to give a nice trickle charge overnight. You know, I mean, get home, plug it into your car, plug it into your house, and uh, trickle charge it overnight. We're in the petrol stations or in the uh, filling stations and the charging stations they could have super complex charging systems sort of thing where you drive your car over and it plugs into your battery pack from underneath and gives you um, a decent charge in less time so I'm theorising that you come home and you get your 13 amp, 240 volt plug socket and you plug it into the wall and you plug it into your car, yeah, and it takes 16 hours to fully charge your batteries which gives you 150-200 miles of uh, of charge. Um, but when you get out to the electric filling station and you're paying for it, yeah, they've got ultra fast chargers and they can fill your batteries up in, let's say, 40 minutes, 50 minutes. So if you're a traveling salesman rep, you've got 150, 200 miles of um, charge. So how long does it take you to 200 miles, or 150 miles? It's 70 miles an hour. It's about two, two and a half hours, yeah? About time you can break really, isn't it? Could really do with a break then, wouldn't you? A good 40 minute break then. Would be nice. And wouldn't it be nice if you could put charging stations at your place of work in the car park? Let's face it, I mean, electric power points aren't hard to put out in the car park, are they? You've got street lights in your car parks. They've got 512 volts, haven't they? three-phase 512 volts well it's not gonna be hard to put single phase 240 volts in is it so you can get to work stick it on the charger stick 20p in the slot come back in an hour got an hour's worth of charge because that's about what it is isn't it like you know what i mean it's a kilowatt hour it's about nine ten p a kilowatt hour it's <laughs> 20p an hour two kilowatt hour charging come back you've got you've got another 30 40 miles worth of uh, go go juice you can have these in every single car parking space in the uh, in the country because let's face it let's face it i don't see many park car parking spaces which haven't got street lamps which means they've got electricity in the car parking spaces so electric cars make miles more sense than hydrogen cars and if these power points were absolutely everywhere well, you could have your uh, portable radio with a recharging pack. Then you go across the recharging station, put it in, pay 10p for half an hour. Charge it up. Oh, I've charged it in half an hour. Or work it out. Put it on the back of it. You say something on the back of your thing. It goes, oh, yeah, on the back of mine it says, oh, this is uh, 12 volt DC, 700 milliamp hour. Oh, an hour, oh, it's 20p, or a quid, or whatever it's going to be. You know, or your mobile phone, you can go across and charge your mobile phone up, can't you? You know what I mean? It's an amazing, amazing idea. Right, before we get uh, compact nuclear fusion devices, a miles better idea than having petrol stations, which have got flammable liquids everywhere. And then, the new one is to have hydrogen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've got human beings and hydrogen. Liquid hydrogen. What do you think we're going to do with it? 
<sighs> we are rather childish as humans, aren't we? I mean, you've seen some of my videos, I'm a complete whackhead. <laughs> well, I feel like it. Well, I don't feel like it. When I feel like being sensible, I can be sensible. Um, so, yeah, charging points in car parks and all around the place. And little money slots in them. So, you'll get jobs for people going around collecting the money out of the uh, slots. Or you could have the card readers on them. So, you can stick your card in, put the pin number in. Uh, take it straight out, yeah. Stick it out, yeah. Stick it straight out, your bank. It's an amazing system. And obviously, like I've just pointed out, you know, you can charge your mobile phone in the middle of nowhere. I mean, it could be two o'clock in the morning, you think to yourself, oh, damn. You could go to, you could go to one, it could be like a Nokia charging point. Or it could be a Motorola charging point, or it could be a multi charging point Nokia, Samsung, uh, Motorola, Sony Ericsson. Yes. Oh, there's a Sony Ericsson charger whapping in. Yes. You stand there talking to your mates for 20 minutes. Oh, I've got some charge now, or just stick it in while you're making a phone call. Uh, when your phone calls up, just unplug it and away you go. You know what I'm saying? And by the time your phone call's finished, you've got some extra charge as well. It's a great idea, isn't it? Just admit it. I mean, you obviously have the penises that are going to go around pulling the bits off and breaking it because they're jealous, twat head idiots. But at the end of the day, you could uh, facilitate electric cars everywhere and never worry about running out of uh, electricity. You could facilitate rechargeable items. So, you know, you've got a digital camera, you've got a uh, mobile phone. You've got your MP3 player, you know, and about with. You've got your um, little notebooky thing. Um, you've got your well PDA, the little imagine the uh, people from the post office and what have you. They've got little PDAs, so they're running out of battery power. They're just gonna go, oh, right, I'll just put it in there for a couple of minutes with their uh, Royal Mail passcode. I got a Royal Mail mate, or the Royal Mail swipe card. Yes, I want 10 minutes of charge while I'm having my tea break. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's outstandingly, extraordinarily great. Well, it could be, but it's not. <laughs> because it's not there, if it was there it would be great, extraordinarily great but unfortunately it's not and we've still got petrol cars and we're just going to go for hybrid hydrogen cars now I know hydrogen is fantastic but let's face it uh, it wasn't thought out very well was it now we're going to be making hydrogen fuel cell cars, why? Why on earth would we want to make hydrogen fuel cell cars? What are we producing hydrogen for? People say it takes a lot of energy to produce hydrogen. And I just think to myself, why don't we just cut to the shore and put all these charging stations in around everywhere? Yeah. And we've got electrical stuff. Right, which has got charging stuff, batteries, and then when we get to the point where we can make these um, miniature, like hydrogen fuel cells, but miniature fusion devices, and we're going to get there. I mean, we can make miniature fission devices now. They're called uh, depleted uranium batteries. <laughs> right? Why don't we just use depleted uranium batteries? Right, they last for about twelve years, and give a lot of power. You see, we've got nuclear batteries already, fission batteries. It ain't going to be long before, before we've got fusion batteries. We've got fusion power, fission power at the start of the century. We've got fusion power at the end of the century. We've got fission batteries at the end of last century. We're going to have fission, fusion batteries before the end of this century. You understand what I'm saying? Think forward. Think forward.